Hello, this is Landreth with Anita, reporting from eBible Fellowship, uh, live day in the Word. Um, Anita, um, with the information that we have from the Bible, um, living in the day adjustment as believers, how have you found the studies on you know, the information from the Bible, do you find it uh, as a comfort and, and how is it helping you in your time of uh, living in this day that we're in and the trials that all of us are going through? Well, every time you open, you know, you, you put your TV on or look on the internet, all you see is problems in this world and it's getting worse and worse. And I know that a lot of it has to do with Judgment Day and and it could be very discouraging, but we know that this is God's plan, and this is going to go forward, and things could get even worse. And um, he's a, his word is a big comfort. The Bible studies are a big comfort. Coming here and being with God's people are, are a comfort. So um, it's, it is um, good it's our, for our family, you know, to listen, and um, it's just... It's a comfort and we know it's going to be over. One day it's going to be over and today I was just driving in the car. I mean even personal problems. We all have our personal things that are going on too and um, and I was telling you know my husband and, and the kids in the car because we have a lot of old cars it's so many problems and expenses with them and I says I can't wait for the new heaven and new earth when we have no more vehicles. <laughs> no more insurance, no more problems like that. <laughs> So yes, God's word is, is a very big comfort and just knowing that it's, this is the plan of right. God and he right. is watching over his people and his elect. Right. And, and don't you find it a joy that, um, that yet for a moment, even in God's word that he says he may be silent to us for a moment, but now it seems that God is opening up his word, the Bible, mm -hmm. uh, abundantly uh, giving us information and further confirmation that we're on the right track. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. The timeline is correct, and uh, what a joy that God is speaking to us once again from His Word. Although others may say we're wrong and and so forth, and but now we know that we're on the right track. Yes. And this is you know this is the day of judgment. Yes. And it's something that we don't find joy in because it's a grievous message mm -hmm. but we love God's will. Yeah, we love and his will and we want his will done because we know he does everything perfectly right. and uh, we can see through when he opens his word more and more we see yes we are supposed to be here during judgment day and how long that is you know and um, so you know when he opens his word and to us and we read that's more comfort it's more like, yes, we are on the right track. It's, it's just uh, very, it's wonderful that we have God's word, you yes. know, with us. And he gives it to us freely and we, yes. he opens our eyes to it. And we just need to um, always be in the word. And it, even as a verse says that uh, in the mouth, it's, we find it sweet as honey, but in the stomach, it's bitter, mm -hmm. you know. Sometimes um, God's, the truth of the Bible can be, uh, when it speaks of judgment, can be severe and, and even grievous. But yet we love God's word, no matter how tough it may be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know, you know, I believe we all are finding that because um, we all have family and, and, but, you know, God's word is true. Yes, it is, and um, yes, we all have family, and we all just pray for them, and um, it's a certain type of prayer, you know, but we do pray for them, and, and you know, God is very good. He watches over our families, whatever they believe. He watches over our families as we pray for them. I just think he's very merciful in that way, where, you know, he... He's like, uh, I don't know, he protects them, he, you know, and I'm so grateful for that, that he's doing it. It's just, you know, can't tell you how, you know, great that, you, well, I can. <laughs> I can tell and, you how great that is. <laughs> and we have hope. Yes. 
We have know. hope. We have hope. We have yes, hope there, that, there is hope. You know, although everyone's destiny is sealed at this yes. point, because the door of salvation has been That's shut. Right. But if someone heard the gospel before the door was shut, the believers, we have hope that there could be possibilities. Yes, it is. There I could be possible. And I'm so grateful for that. Yes. I do. And I have to keep praying about that because sometimes it gets real discouraging, yes. you know, when you don't see any movement toward the Word of God, toward, you know. I, and um, so, yeah, we, there's still that hope that maybe, maybe He did save them, you know, and maybe it's just time we need, because we are probably going to be here a while. So maybe there's just time that we need to just be patient yes. and uh, <clears throat> endure to the end. And I believe like it's does. also maybe a test for us mm -hmm. that are we, are we, we're to pray for people, not to judge, never to judge. Um, and maybe God in some kind of way uh, uses that as a test for us. Are we going to pray for a person or are we going to judge them and, um, and we're to never to judge? So, you know, we thank the Lord for that hope he has given us. And, and again, God does all things perfect um, for his people. Yes, I uh, agree. Well, Anita, I'd like to thank you uh, again, reporting from E-Bible Fellowship, Day in the Word, and may the Lord be with you.